Hello folks and welcome to AppScreencast, Danny here. In today's video we've got an application review of Carousel. Now Carousel is actually an Instagram client for your Mac. So if you wonder what Instagram is, it's just basically an application which allows you to take pictures and share them to a social network. Now it's a lot like Twitter in terms of the way it looks and stuff and you can like people's pictures and also comment on them and you can follow people and they can follow you. Now as you can see here, this is the iPhone application what works really well and it's also available on the Android platform. So everything on Instagram is done for the mobile phone applications. There's no actual web interface or anything like that. So this was a bit of a shame because I actually want to view Instagram on my Mac. So this is where Carousel comes in and kind of solves that issue. So let's take a closer look at the application. So this is the application Carousel running on my Mac. As you can see here, we basically gonna have a lot of the functionality what we get on the Instagram app on the iPhone. Only thing lacking here is the ability to upload photos to Instagram. Unfortunately, um, Instagram don't want third party developers doing that. So you can't do that within this app. But other than that, you can do most other things. So here we have the feed, which is basically all the latest photos from people who I'm following on Instagram. So we've got the newest ones at the top. And as you scroll down, you've got the older ones. So if I choose to, I can like his picture. And I'll also leave him a comment. So there you go, let's show you how the timeline works. So basically as we scroll down, we're getting to the older pictures. Any picture we like, we can obviously just hit on it and like it. Next up we have the popular feed, which is basically all the popular photos from that day on Instagram. So as you can see here, there's some really good photos and this is a good way of discovering really cool um, people and really cool photographers. Next up, we have our own account. So as you can see here, this is my account, App Screencast. If you wish to follow me on Instagram, just search for App Screencast. So I've, I've uploaded a picture 21 hours ago, and I can view who's liked it, and also view the comments, and also comment as well if I choose to. So you see this, this um, picture of the Nexus 7 and the iPad has had 10 likes, 8 comments. If you want to follow me, by the way, um, I upload a lot of pictures relating to technology, but also if anything interesting I see out and about, I'll also take a picture and upload it, like this landscape here. At the top, we can obviously see how many followers I've got and how many um, people I follow. Next up, we've got likes, and this is basically all the photos I've liked. So as you can see, the Macintosh map photo I liked, it's appeared in my likes. And you can see here other photos I've actually liked. Also, if we wish to, we can click on a user by just clicking on the profile picture. And we can basically see more pictures from them if we choose to. So this is that Daz who I also follow. Definitely recommend following that Daz because he does upload some really good pictures. And we can see who's following him and who he's following. Next up, we can go into search. And this is where we can search for specific pictures or even a particular user if we choose to. So my last search was Apple, this time let's, let's search for Nexus 7. So as you can see, first of all we get all the users with that name or similar name. If we scroll down we can see the actual tags now, so let's go on to Nexus 7. And this is all the photos on Instagram which have been tagged with the word Nexus 7. So as you can see here, most of these are pictures of the Nexus 7. So I really like this application. A couple of reasons I really like it is the UI. I like it how it's really simple and clean. I like how it's just a small window, so if you want you can move the window off to the side, then maybe have your Twitter client next to it. Also, I like the look of it with the like wooden effect along the top and kind of the wallpaper as the background. Also, if we choose to though, we can go into preferences and actually change the theme. So there's a few to choose from, as you can see here. So if you get bored of the theme, you can always switch it up. Also what's nice is it will automatically refresh your timeline every 10 minutes or you can change the actual speed of this. And what will happen then is you also get a ground notification telling you there's a new photo on Instagram. Again you could turn this off if you choose to but I usually have it turned on, I find it quite useful. 
So overall, I'm really impressed with this application and do really like it. I find the only downside of this application so far is sometimes it can be a bit glitchy that sometimes it'll say a video's got 27 likes, but then when it refreshes, it'll actually be a lot less than that. I think that's due to it's getting confused and taking the likes from another picture and putting the wrong number in there. But generally, it works fine and it's a really good application. So you can actually get the carousel application from the Mac App Store. The application is only £1.49 so it's not too expensive and if you're a big Instagram fan then it's definitely worth the price. Now there's a few other Instagram clients in the Mac App Store and I will have a future review on one of them in a few weeks. But this is definitely my favourite application at the moment and I really like the simple interface. Now the developer behind carousel is actually been kind enough to donate five copies of this application for giveaway. So if you'd like to have a chance of winning one of these applications, then please leave a comment below to be entered in the giveaway, but also make sure to like this video and also be subscribed. Um, the competition will run for about a week or two, then I'll pick five winners from the comments. So thanks for watching this video everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.